News in the baby formula shortage today. One of the largest plants in the country is making formula again, but it could be weeks before it starts showing up in stores. There's concern about misinformation too that's been circulating online, causing problems for mothers and their unborn babies. Here to talk about that is Christine Baumgart, lactation consultant at the Hospital of Central Connecticut in New Britain. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. All right, first off here, tell us about this inf misinformation you say has been showing up online. What is that? So we all know how stressful the formula shortage has been for our families, our expecting moms and moms with young babies. And as a result of that, this information has started popping up on the internet, encouraging moms to express their breast milk before babies are born. And this goes by several names. You can see it called colostrum harvesting, prenatal pumping, antenatal breast milk expression. It's all the same idea of stimulating your milk supply before your baby has arrived. And there are risks associated with this practice. So what can happen if an expecting mother does do that? What's the risk? There's really not a whole lot of great research out there on colostrum harvesting, but what we do know is that oxytocin is the same hormone that releases a mom's milk and contracts her uterus. So when she's stimulating her breast milk, she can also stimulate preterm contractions. If mom is already at a risk for preterm delivery, she's increasing that same risk. Um, if you're using a breast pump instead of your hands, you're also increasing your risk of preterm delivery. Unfortunately, here at our hospitals, we have seen families come through our doors who have been trying to stimulate their breast milk um, before baby has arrived and the babies ended up in the intensive care unit because they're born too soon. Hmm. Well, while we wait for this formula now to be restocked, uh, where should moms, moms to be get their information about planning ahead? So the Connecticut Department of Public Health has put together some great information on where to find formula. So if you want more information on that, please call 211 um, and your local pediatrician offices have information as well. If you are considering expressing your breast milk before your baby arrives, please just make sure you are waiting until your pregnancy is full term. We also want to make sure that you speak with your obstetrician first. They're going to be the ones who can advise you whether or not this is a good idea for the safety of you and your baby. If you have specific questions on how to express your colostrum, reach out to any lactation consultant in your community. All of the Hartford Healthcare Hospitals have lactation consultants on staff, and we are here to support you and your baby before and after birth. All good advice, and we will link you to some of that good advice at our website at WTNH.com. Christine Baumgart, lactation consultant at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Appreciate your time. Thanks for being here today. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You too.